Thank you for coming. Um, thank you for joining us. We uh, will have a, a vespers tonight and a call to a holy fast. Uh, tomorrow evening um, at sunset around 8.30, we will have a Easter vigil. Um, Easter morning, we will have a 10.30 Easter day service. Um, please join us as you are able. Let's begin with prayers for Good Friday. Almighty God, graciously behold this your family from whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed unto the hands of sinners and to suffer death upon the cross, who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. Let us pray. Almighty God, your Son, Jesus Christ, was lifted high upon the cross so that we might draw the whole world to himself. Grant that we, who glory in this death of our salvation, may also glory in his call to take up our crosses and follow him. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our first reading comes from Isaiah, chapter 52, verse 13, through 53, verse 12. Behold, my servant will prosper. He will be high and lifted up and greatly exalted. Just as many were astonished at you, my people, so his appearance was marred more than any man, and his form more than the sons of men. Thus he will sprinkle many nations. Kings will shut their mouths on account of him. For what had not been told them, they will see. And what they had not heard, they will understand. Who has, believed, who has believed our message? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him like a tender shoot and like a root out of parched ground. He has no stately form or majesty that we should look upon him, nor appearance that we should be attracted to him. He was despised and forsaken of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and like one from whom men hide their face. He was despised, and we did not esteem him. Surely our grief he himself bore, and our sorrows he carried, yet we ourselves esteemed him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was pierced through for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The chastening of our well-being fell upon him, and by his scourging we are healed. All of us like sheep have gone astray, each of us has turned to his own way, but the Lord has caused the iniquity of us all to all fall on him. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth like a lamb that was led to the slaughter and like a sheep that was silent before its shears. 
so he did not open his mouth. By oppression and judgment, he was taken away. And as for his generation, who considered that he was cut off the land of the living for the transgressions of my people to whom the stroke was due. His grave was assigned with wicked men, yet he was with a rich man in his death because he had done no violence, nor was there any deceit in his mouth. But the Lord was pleased to crush him, putting him to grief. If he would render himself as a guilt offering, he will see his offspring. He will prolong his days and the good pleasure of the Lord will prosper in his hand as a result of the anguish of his soul. He will see it and be satisfied by his knowledge, the righteous one, my servant will justify the many as he will bear their iniquities. Therefore, I will allot him a portion with the great and he will divide the booty with the strong because he poured out himself to death and was numbered with the transgressors. Yet he himself bore the sin of many and interceded for the transgressors. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Psalm appointed for today is Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Far from my deliverance are the words of my groaning. My God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but have no rest. Yet you are holy. O oh, you who are enthroned upon the praises of Israel, in you our fathers trusted. They trusted, and you delivered them. To you they cried out and were delivered. In you they trusted and were not disappointed. But I am a worm and not a man, a reproach of men and despised by the people. All who see me sneer at me. They separate with the lip. They wag their head, saying, commit yourselves to the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him, because he delights in him. Yet you are he who brought me forth from the womb. You made me trust when upon my mother's breast, upon you I was cast from birth. You have been my God from my mother's womb. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have surrounded me. Strong bulls of Bashan have encircled me. They open wide their mouth at me. As a ravaging and roaring lion, I am poured out like water. All my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted within me. My strength is dried up like a pot shirt, and my tongue cleaves to my jaws. And you lay me in the dust of death, for dogs have surrounded me. A band of evildoers has encompassed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They look. They stare at me. They divide my garments among them. And for my clothing, they cast lots. But you, O oh Lord, be not far, far, off, far off. O you, my help, hasten to my assistance. Deliver my soul from the sword. My only life from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth 
from the horns of the wild oxen. You answer me. I will tell of your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, glorify him and stand in awe of him. All you descendants of Israel, for he has not despised nor aborted the affliction of the afflicted, nor has he hidden his face from him. But when he cried to him for help, he heard. From you comes my praise in the great assembly. I shall pay my vows before those who fear him. The afflicted will eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him will praise the Lord. Let your heart live forever, and the ends of the earth will remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations will worship before you. For the kingdoms is the Lord, and he rules over the nations. All the prosperous of the earth will eat and worship. All those who go down to the dust will bow before him. Even he who cannot keep his soul alive. Posterity will serve him. It will be told to the Lord, to the coming generation. They will come and will declare his righteousness to a people who will be born, that he has performed it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading according to the Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 16 through 25. Thus is the covenant that I will make with them. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws upon their heart and on their mind, and I will write them. He then says, and their sins and their lawless deeds, I will remember no more. Now where there is forgiveness of these things, there is no longer any offering for sin. Therefore, brethren, since we have the confidence to enter the holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he inaugurated for us through the veil, that is, his flesh. And since we have a great high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a sincere heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled clean from the evil consciousness and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how to stimulate one another to love and good deeds, not forsaking our own assembling together as it is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near. The word is the Lord. Jay, will you help me with the Stations of the Cross? Are you able to kneel beside me? Can you come over? This is a proclamation of the Passion story according to John 18, verse 1 through 1942. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Lord Jesus, help us walk in your steps. God of power and mercy, in love you sent your Son, that we might be cleansed of sin and live with you forever. Bless us as we gather to reflect on his suffering and death 
that we may learn from his example the way we should go. We ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Would you read the first reading? First station, Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, sit here while I go over there and pray. He took along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to feel sorrow and distress. Then he said to them, my soul is sorrowful even to death. Remain here and keep watch with me. He advanced a little and fell prostrate in prayer, saying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not as I will, but as you will. When he returned to his disciples, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, So you could not keep watch with me for one hour? Watch and pray that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Lord, grant us strength and wisdom that we may seek to follow your will in all things. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. The second station, Jesus betrayed by Judas is arrested. Then while Jesus was still speaking, Judas, one of the 12 arrived accompanied by a crowd with swords and clubs who had come from the chief priests, the scribes and the elders. His betrayer had arranged a single, a signal with them saying, the man I shall kiss is the one, arrest him and lead him away securely. He came and immediately went over to him and said, Rabbi, and he kissed him. At this, they laid hands on him and arrested him. Lord, grant us the courage of our convictions that our lives may be faithfully reflected the good news you bring. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Third station, Jesus is condemned by the Sanhedrin. When the day came, the council of elders of the people met, both chief priests and scribes, and they brought him before their Sanhedrin. They said, if you are the Messiah, tell us. But he replied to them, if I tell you, you will not believe. And if I question, you will not respond. But from this time, from this time on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. They all asked, are you then the son of God? He replied to them, you say that I am. Then they said, what further need have we for testimony? We have heard it from his own mouth. Lord, grant us your sense of righteousness that we may never cease to work to bring about justice of the kingdom that you promised. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. The fourth station. Jesus is denied by Peter. Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. One of the maids came over to him and said, you too were with Jesus the Galilean. But he denied it in front of everyone saying, I do not know what you are talking about. As he went out to the gate, another girl saw him and said to those who were there, this man was with Jesus, the Nazarene. Again, he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. A little later, the bystanders came over and said to Peter, surely you too are one of them. Even your speech gives you away. At that, he began to curse and to swear, I don't know the man, and immediately the cock crowed. Then Peter remembered the word.
that Jesus had spoken. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. He went out and began to weep bitterly. Lord, grant us the gift of honesty that we may not fear to speak the truth even when difficult. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. In the fifth station, Jesus is judged by Pilate. The chief priests with the elders and the scribes, that is, the whole Sanhedrin, held a council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate questioned him, Are you the king of the Jews? he said. He said to him in reply, You say so. The chief priests accused him of many things. Again, Pilate questioned him, Have you no answer? See how many things they accuse you of? Jesus gave him no further answer, so that Pilate was amazed. Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas and handed Jesus over to be crucified. Lord, grant us discernment that we may see as you see, not as the world sees. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. The sixth station, Jesus is scourged and crowned with thorns. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him scourged. And the soldiers wove a crown out of thorns and placed it on his head and clothed him in a purple cloak. And they came to him and said, Hail, King of the Jews. And they struck him repeatedly. Lord, grant us patience in times of suffering that we may offer our lives as a sacrifice of praise. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Cheers. The seventh station, Jesus bears the cross. When the chief priests and the guards saw Jesus, they cried out, crucify him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, take him yourselves and crucify him. I find no guilt in him. They cried out, take him away, take him away, crucify him. Pilate said to them, shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, we have no king but Caesar. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus and carrying the cross himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull in Hebrew, Golgotha. Lord, grant us strength of purpose that we may faithfully bear our crosses each day. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Jesus is helped by Simon of Cyrene to carry the cross. They pressed into service a passerby, Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in the form in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. Lord, grant us willing spirits that we may be your instruments on earth. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. The ninth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. A large crowd of people followed Jesus, including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. For indeed, the days are coming when people will say, blessed are the barren, the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. 
At that time, people will say to the mountains, fall upon us and to the hills, cover us. For if these things are done when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Lord, grant us gentle spirits that we may comfort those who mourn. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Jesus is crucified. When they came to the place called the skull, they crucified him. And the criminals there, one on his right, the other on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they do. Lord, grant us merciful hearts that we may bring your reconciliation and forgiveness to all. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. The eleventh station. Jesus promises his kingdom to the good thief. Now one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God? For you are subject to the same condemnation. Indeed, we have been condemned justly, for the sentence we received corresponds to our crimes. But this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Lord, grant us perseverance that we may never stop seeking you. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. The twelfth station, Jesus speaks to his mother and the disciples. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. Lord, grant us consistency that we may be willing to stand by those in need. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. The 13th station, Jesus dies upon the cross. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon because of an eclipse of the sun. Then the veil of the temple was torn down the middle. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And when he had said this, he breathed his last. Lord, grant us trust in you, that when our time on earth is ended, our spirits may come to you without delay. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. The 14th station, Jesus is placed in the tomb. When it was the evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was himself a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be handed over. Taking the body, Joseph wrapped it in clean linen and laid it in his new tomb 
that he had hewn in the rock. Then he rolled the huge stone across the entrance to the tomb and departed. Lord, grant us your compassion that we may always provide for those in need. Our closing prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, your passion and death is the sacrifice that unites the earth and heaven and reconciles all people to you. May we who faithfully reflect on these mysteries follow in your steps and so come to share your glory in heaven where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May Jesus Christ, who for our sake became obedient unto death, even death on a cross, strengthen you now and forever. Amen. Here concludes our Good Friday noon service. Thank you for joining us.